Hey Gat Lovers and welcome back to another video. Before introducing any new animal into your home, it is imperative to do your research, especially with cats. Cats are particularly sensitive animals. Even if you've already owned one in the past, this doesn't mean that your next feline will behave the same. Each breed is very different and will require specific types of care. If you enjoy learning about cats, consider subscribing to the channel, that way it's easier to find our content. Now before you go looking for your feline friend, here are 10 things to know before adopting a cat. Number 1. Figure out the right cat for you. Remember, not all cats are the same, just as not all humans are the same. First, you'll want to determine if a cat will fit your lifestyle at all. If you rent your home or apartment, does the lease allow for cats? Are you prepared to let your cat express normal behaviors such as scratching, climbing, and exploring? Is anyone in your family allergic? If the answers point towards a cat being suitable for your lifestyle, then congratulations! Adopting a cat is an option for you. Now, it's time to determine the perfect cat for you. One of the biggest questions to ask yourself is whether you'll want to adopt an adult cat or a kitten. Many people think they want to adopt a kitten because they are small and adorable. They aren't wrong, however, kittens require a lot more time and attention than adult cats. They need more frequent feedings and constant supervision while they learn their surroundings. They'll also need more socialization and even some litter box training. On the other hand, adult cats are likely litter trained and probably on a consistent and less frequent feeding schedule. They will most likely adapt to your home more quickly and will not need as much supervision. At the end of the day, you should adopt the cat that best fits your lifestyle, regardless of their age. Other thoughts you'll want to consider before adoption are their health status, as well as the traits of their breed. For example, if you aren't prepared to maintain the coat of a long-haired cat, you might find a short-haired breed is better for you. Similarly, a breed that is more prone to health problems might not be best for someone who can't afford frequent vet bills. Number 2. Decide between male and female. Despite popular belief, deciding between a male and female cat should be the least of your worries. All cats are great in their own way, which is why you should look beyond the cat's sex. There is no value assigned to male or female cats, meaning that one is not superior over the other, even for differing lifestyles. But speaking in broad strokes, female cats tend to be a bit more docile, yet more territorial. On the other hand, male cats can be quite rambunctious, but they are more social and less likely to be stingy over their territory. Again, these are very general statements. At the end of the day, every cat is different. If you adopt a cat, the employees or volunteers will likely know the cat's personality. That's why it's much more important to ask about the cat's individual persona. If you're thinking about getting both male and female cats, that could also be a great option. In fact, it's usually recommended to adopt two cats instead of one. Why not have one of each? As a bonus perk, a male and female pair is said to be the easiest of the combinations because their personalities are less likely to clash. This would be followed by two males and then two females being the most difficult combination, though not impossible. Number three where you should get a cat. Without a doubt, many of your local shelters are almost always going to be overflowing with cats and kittens, especially during kitten season, which is generally from around March to October. During these months, there are often more cats and kittens coming in than any shelter can handle. That's why, if you're able to, we urge you to adopt instead of shop. While you can definitely find reputable breeders if you have specific needs, such as allergens, you should always check local shelters first. Chances are you will find a feline friend to suit your lifestyle waiting to be brought home. Number four, know your cat's history. No matter where you end up getting your cat from, you want to make sure that you know as much as possible about them. If you adopt, there may not be much information available, but try to find out whatever you can, especially if you are adopting an adult cat. For a kitten, make sure to ask how long they've been at the shelter. Review any and all medical records to determine if they needed any care beyond standard vaccinations, spay or neuter procedures, and etc. If they were in a foster home prior to adoption, ask for behavioral reports. If you are adopting an adult cat, it's even more important to ask for as many records on medical history as you can get. Depending on how long they've been at the shelter, you may even ask about food and litter preferences. Learning as much as you can about your cat and their personality is important in ensuring they feel safe and loved in their home. Number five, essential supplies for your cat. Food and litter are two of the most essential supplies for your cat, and it's really important that you choose what's best for your particular cat. For food, you wanna do some research to determine reputable healthy food options. 
Before adopting your cat, you can always ask your veterinarian which brands they recommend. Always choose a food with whole ingredients as opposed to those that are more processed and have a lot of fillers. Experts usually recommend a mix of dry and wet foods, which is known as a combination diet. However, every cat's needs are unique, which is why you should always follow the advice of your vet. As for litter, a good rule of thumb is to make sure you have one more litter box than the number of cats in your home. For example, if you adopt two cats, you should have three litter boxes. If you adopt a kitten, avoid clumping litter until they are four months old, because it can cause an upset stomach or blockage if eaten. Instead, opt for a pellet litter that dissolves when exposed to urine. If your cat or kitten isn't responding well to a litter, then consider switching it up or consulting your vet for more options. For grooming, cats are pretty good at grooming themselves, but there are a few ways that you'll still need to invest in their upkeep. Make sure to get a good brush to help keep their coats clear and healthy. For indoor cats, you may also need a nail trimmer because some felines need their nails trimmed regularly. As for toys, enriching activities are essential in any cat household. Just like us humans, cats need exercise every day to stay healthy. With cats, this is easy to accomplish because they love to play. As a bonus, it keeps their minds active, which can also help keep them out of trouble. Cat trees, cat scratchers, laser pointers, toy mice, and fishing poles are all great toys to keep your feline friend busy. Number 6. Calculate Average Care Costs once you've determined which supplies you'll be investing for your feline friend, food, litter, vet care, and other supplies, calculate the average cost of care per month. This way you'll know if you'll be able to financially support a furry friend. As with any animal, a cat is an investment and deserves quality care. This means you'll need to make sure you can afford to pay for all of their needs. Number seven, consider pet insurance. There are tons of companies that offer pet insurance, which can help make sure that you're able to pay for your cat's needs even when you are hit with unexpected medical care. The truth is, no matter how healthy your cat is when you adopt them, things happen. You don't want to have to go into debt to make sure that you can care for your animal. Pet insurance generally has flexible premium plans, some of which even cover behavioral treatments when necessary. Whether you choose to invest in pet insurance or just set aside monthly savings, you'll want to make sure to do something to prepare for unexpected costs. This way, if anything goes wrong, you can focus all your time and attention on helping your cat get better rather than worrying about money. Number 8. Prepare your home. It's very important that you prepare your cat's space before you bring them home. Start by setting out food and water in a designated area. Then find a place to keep their litter boxes that is far enough away from the food and water. Just as with humans, cats don't like to have their meal next to their bathroom. I mean, wouldn't you find that gross too? If you have other pets at home, make sure you find a designated and safe space for your cat to go and relax without any interruption from other animals, at least until they're acclimated. Even once they are settled in, make sure that they have a spot just for them. Whether that's a cat bed or a blanket that they love, cats really do enjoy having their own space. Number nine, cat proof your home. While cat proofing is especially important for kittens, there are a few things you'll need to do before adopting a cat of any age. First, make sure that you invest in scratching posts, which will provide your cat with a place to scratch that isn't your sofa or carpet. Also, make sure that you don't have any open holes or crevices where your cat could get stuck. Cats also love to scale to the top of most surfaces. Don't be surprised if, once they are big enough to jump high, you find them atop your kitchen cabinets or a shelf in your living room. That's why it's also important to get cat towers. Nonetheless, secure anything on top of those areas so that your cat cannot knock them down. Spoiler alert, cats don't always use the cat towers. You also want to make sure that your home smells and looks clean once you introduce an animal into the mix. Another must is to make sure that any scents in your home or cleaners you use are not toxic to cats. Peppermint, lavender, eucalyptus, citrus, and cinnamon are just some of the popular scents that are incredibly dangerous for cats. Prolonged exposure can cause many health problems. Also, try to use non-toxic cleaners whenever possible to avoid exposure to harmful chemicals. The same goes for plants. There are several popular species, including monstera plants and poinsettias, that are very harmful for cats. Take care to either place these in a space that your cat will never have access to, or just get rid of them altogether. Cats are great at sneaking into places you might not want them to be in. So, in an effort to keep them safe from exposure to anything that could harm them, it's often best to remove them from the home entirely. Number 10. Give your cat time to adjust. 
It is completely normal for your cat to take days or even weeks to feel comfortable in their new home. Think about it, everything is unfamiliar to them, especially if you adopt an adult cat. They likely are used to whatever their setup was before they entered the home. Nothing smells or looks the same, and they aren't too sure who you are either. Be patient with them. On the first day, sit on the floor as you let them explore. Try to be unassuming and only interact if they choose to interact with you first. Show them that the space is theirs to control. As your cat starts to feel more comfortable, then you could start introducing more toys and encourage them to go outside their comfort zone. Likewise, if it takes a few days for your cat to resume their typical eating schedule, this is normal. Their nerves might prevent them from eating normally for a few days. If the behavior persists, then you might consider calling your vet for advice. This may seem like a lot of information, but don't fret. Once you've taken some time to properly prepare for your newest family addition, you and your feline friend are bound to create some great memories together. Cats are great and loyal companions that return the affection you show them tenfold. Just remember, their care is just as important as yours. Investing your time, money, and energy into their well-being is a paramount part of being a pet owner. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up because it helps other cat lovers find our content. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next Catter Day for another video.